Hello and welcome to Cecil on a Film. Today I will be giving my review of The Joker. Which is Okay, so last night I saw The Joker. Uh, it was excellent, but before I get on to that, uh, yesterday was a long day. I ended up seeing it midnight in, in uh, Times Square, but uh, went to uh, New York Comic Con uh, earlier in the day. Uh, got there really late by my own fault. I, I was uh, drinking a little bit already during the day. I went there without my tickets, had to go back across town like three times. Got my ticket. Uh, was only at the con for maybe 10 minutes. Um, went over, met up with, uh, got some pictures here. Uh, that's not it. Met up with uh, Ethan. Uh, and uh, Jesus, look at, look at the fucking shape of this mask, man. I was a mess. Um, met up with, uh, who else? Oh, met Mark Wade. Everybody loves Mark Wade. Um, anyway, that was kind of funny. He, uh, he saw Ethan and fucking took off in the other direction and I ran after him and got a picture. Uh, he was nice enough. I don't see what Zach's big problem is with the guy. <laughs> he seems so nice. Um, uh, then, uh, uh, we had dinner. We, we, you know, we left there, met some people, uh, and we went and got some drink. Uh, they got dinner. I just dragged them to the first place. I know they. I I I was a little bit uh, off of what streets. I'm not really. I don't usually hang out by the convention center. Uh, so we just kind of walked into the first bar uh, restaurant we saw, which was actually pretty nice. But uh, was hoping for more of a steakhouse. But the guys had some food. I don't know how it was. Uh, I didn't eat. I just drank whiskey. Um, Ethan ate. The rest of the table ate. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, Who'd I meet? Uh, oh, I got a picture of some people here. Oh, shit, why don't I just get rid of that? This is a guy, this is from Jeremy's channel today. There's Jeremy behind me. Uh, this is who was at the thing yesterday. It was uh, this fella, Chris, who was there. Gary Nerdrotic was there. Uh, he was very nice. He picked up my whiskey tab at that restaurant. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm sure it wasn't cheap. Uh, this kid, Chris. John from Bounding Into Comics. Uh, later on the night, we met this fella here, uh, with the blue shirt. This is, uh, Jeremy's friend, uh, Garrett. And this guy back here is Garrett's friend that we met. He was a nice guy, too. I can't think of his name. Chris, maybe? Anyway, these guys were nice. Garrett paid for my ticket, uh, to, um, to, uh, the Joker, uh, like a midnight showing in Times Square. So, uh, we had fun. Thank you for that. So... I appreciate that. I had a good time meeting uh, Jeremy. We uh, we uh, walked all over town when everybody left. It was just me and him. So we walked like all the way downtown to the village. Uh, stopped at a few bars on the way for you know refreshments and stuff. And uh, and then uh, we got uh, I got drunker and we got into a cab. And started uh, flying around town, and and the uh, cab driver was a real uh, a real character. So we we had a fun a fun cab ride. Then I uh, ran around Times Square, drunk off my ass, just pestering and harassing people. Uh, I had a, a fun time. That's when uh, we met up with his friend Garrett and the other guy, and. Uh, I know we were right in Times Square, so we went into Bubblegum. I was dying of thirst at that time, so we just ran up to Bubblegum. For a for a uh, for a uh, beer, and then we went to the movies, and uh, the movie was uh, the Joker, and it was absolutely fantastic, excellent movie. Uh, it lived up to the hype. It, it's been getting a lot of hype. Uh, people have been saying, you know, it, it's it's a a great movie, but then you go see it, and sometimes stuff's overhyped. This movie is not overhyped at all. Um, it's a it's it's a legit masterpiece. It, it's excellent. Uh, Jeremy, it was his second time seeing it in two days, 
and uh, he said he picked up a lot of stuff in the second time around. It's 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 a dense, heavy movie. It's a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff going on, a lot of subtle stuff going on. Uh, and I I am going to see this again in the theater. I agree with Jeremy. There is stuff to be seen second time around, especially when you start to put together that um, his uh, you know the character. Uh, Arthur Fleck, who who is the Joker, played by Joaquin Phoenix, absolutely fantastic. He's going to get a, a if he doesn't get a a, a nod uh, for Oscar, or at least a nomination for this, it would be a travesty because I mean this was one of the best performances in recent memory that I've seen from anyone, and uh, you know it it was great. He he got Bone Skinny to play the guy. Uh, he just looked a wreck. He he. He was some, he's somebody who's descending into madness. He's having a, a crippling uh, mental breakdown. Uh, really well done. And then uh, towards the end of the movie, you start to realize not everything is the way he saw it uh, because he has so, such mental problems. You know, it's not as uh, over your head as something like, uh, you know, a Fight Club where he you know, has an entire different reality. But... Um, there's there's things in there when you start to realize that you know Arthur Fleck is insane. Uh, towards the end of the movie, you start to realize a lot of the stuff you're seeing wasn't true. So I would really like to uh, to watch this movie again. I'm not gonna I'm gonna not go out of my way to give spoilers. You, you know, you're watching a Joker remove, uh, review from me. I'm sober now, so I don't think I'll give spoilers. But if I do, you know, don't watch this. I'm I'm trying not to though. But uh, hats off to uh, Todd Phillips, who did an amazing job with this movie. I mean, uh, the look of it is fantastic. Uh, every bit of this, this was a well-produced, well-directed, well-acted. Even the soundtrack was great. Like, it, it, this, this is a masterpiece. I don't throw that around. And uh, it's funny because uh, there are nods in this movie to... Uh, King of Comedy, which is my favorite Martin Scorsese movie, uh, uh, is a very similar uh, plot uh, where uh, uh, Arthur Fleck plays a, a clown. Uh, he's a professional clown, and he wants to become a, uh, a stand-up comedian, and, uh, but he's also going insane. In the movie uh, King of Comedy... Uh, Robert De Niro uh, plays a fella named Rupert Pupkin, who is also delusional. He lives in his basement. He does talk shows for himself, and he thinks he's uh, going to be a huge star. Uh, and he ends up. Uh, it's it, it's funny that they used uh, Robert De Niro as the talk show host in uh, Joker. It's an excellent nod to King of Comedy. Uh, I, 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 he, he was good in it, uh, but Joaquin uh, Phoenix was just, he stole the show. He, he was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I also like the scene, there is a scene where, um, where he meets Alfred, uh, uh, where, where uh, Joker meets Alfred, and uh, that, that's one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Uh, just, just really intense. That whoever, I don't know, uh, I didn't recognize the actor right offhand. Uh, but uh, he was excellent. The guy who played Alfred, the guy who played Thomas Wayne was excellent. Um, all around great movie. Here's a clip from King of Comedy. Uh, I hope this doesn't get me struck. I'll show. Tom, this is how I see you introducing me. You could say something like this. Will you please give your warmest welcome to the newest King of Comedy, Rupert Pumpkin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, De Niro played this delusional guy who would make uh, a talk show in his basement for himself. And, uh, you know, he had a, a laugh track and a fake audience up on the wall. And he was insane. And then he decides to kidnap, you know, basically Johnny Carson to force them to put him on, uh, to put him on the, the show. Now, uh, in The Joker, uh, he has delusions of being on the show as well. He has delusions of having a relationship with the, uh, with the uh, host. Uh, 
but he but he ends up actually getting on the show, uh, and uh, really excellent movie. I'll show a little bit of the trailer right now. Yeah, so uh, he's playing Arthur Fleck. He's a clown. That's his profession. And he is having a complete mental breakdown. Uh, he's on medication. The social services start to get cut. Uh, oh, this scene right here, just, just him walking in his building here. Man, I just love what Todd Phillips did in, in capturing that 1980s New York. Uh, I was a little kid during this time. Todd Phillips was probably a teenager. I know he's from Brooklyn. He's maybe about 50 or maybe a little younger. So he grew up in, in uh, this New York uh, as a teenager. So he really knew what it looked like. He wasn't going off movies. He wasn't going off photos. He lived in this New York. He did a great documentary uh, maybe in the early 90s on uh G.G. Allen, like I've, I've mentioned this before in other videos, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I mean, G.G. Allen is a punk rocker that, uh, uh, and the murder uh, junkies, uh, that Todd Phillips did a, uh, Todd Phillips was probably about 20 years old when he did that. He did a documentary on them, but it's really the gritty, grimy, dirty, filthy New York. And it's about a punk rock guy who would like, you know, take a dump on stage, throw it at the fans then eat it. I mean, this guy was a disgusting human being, but a great documentary, interesting. Um, and um, yeah, so Todd Todd Phillips knows that New York, like he knows that greedy New York, and he captured it, you know, absolutely perfectly. Uh, every, every scene, I was just fascinated because you know I grew up there, and uh, I can remember this New York. And he just got every little detail from elevator buttons. I remember going to my cousin's apartment. So I had the, like, the, everything was just really well done. It hit a nerve with me uh, as, a ki as a New York kid uh, watching this. Loved it. He, he just did a great job. Arthur, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> Yeah, for people who are like, oh, this is going to make a, you know, glorify the Joker, glorify, like, no, you can make a movie about somebody without glorifying them. I don't believe he was glorified uh, on any level. He was a fascinating character. Uh, you can be completely compelled, you know, it can make a compelling story th that's interesting, engaging, that doesn't glorify. I don't think it glorified Arthur Fleck. You mostly just felt bad for him because you... You know, it started to really dawn on how seriously mentally ill he was. This was just a slow skid into madness. Uh, most of the time, you just felt bad for him. I don't think anybody wanted to be Arthur Fleck when they watched this movie. So if they think there's going to be, like, copycats and people wanting to be the Joker, I don't think anybody wants to be the Joker. I think you kind of just felt bad for this character and then started to realize, you know, you know, at one point you start feeling bad and then you start to realize he's evil or his or his madness is evil. Uh, this is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Yeah, so here's him watching, uh, you know, he, he has a fantasy here, I think. Uh, he, he's watching uh, De Niro play the, the uh, talk show host. And, uh, yeah, I, lo I love that Todd Phillips uh, used uh, De Niro as a scene. I know this movie was definitely influenced by King of Comedy, and that is my favorite Scorsese movie. Uh, I Probably uh, Todd Phillips as well, I would guess. Um you know, what's funny is uh, Martin Scorsese, I think just yesterday or today, made a comment about how uh, Marvel movies are not true cinema. They're just theme parks on, on camera. You know, it's like an attraction. 
that's a snobbish way of putting it. You know, um, it, 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 you know, I, I understand what he's saying. Uh, and, and, and to some point I agree uh, that you, they're not as an emotionally evoking experience, but sometimes you don't want that. They're all, a movie is a movie. Uh, people get out of it what they can get out of it. And uh, a lot of people enjoy the Marvel movies, but I do understand what he's saying, that he's not moved by... Um, He's not moved by uh, you know the Marvel movies where other where cinema is something that would move him. He would consider more art, but I think that's snobbish. I think there is art in everything, and uh, there's just different types. He's he's calls it a theme park. Those movies, I would love to see his um, reaction to this because uh, this is definitely not a Marvel movie. This is not a theme park. This is not a big budget CGI. Uh, you know popcorn uh, blockbuster type. I mean it's going to be a blockbuster and box office but it's not I don't think there's even a, a single frame of CGI in this entire movie uh, it looks like all practical I mean there's probably CGI just for digital cleanup to make scenes look better to you know maybe somebody left you know, a, a soda can where it shouldn't have been they probably digitally removed it or an, an anachronism, something that didn't belong in the 80s that they just needed to uh, scrub out. So that's probably all the digital work that was in this movie. There's no, there's no uh, special effects, really. This is a straight movie, and this is 100% cinema, and it is based off of a comic book character. Uh, but this is, uh, this is true cinema. This is a movie I would could see, if not the movie being nominated... But, but I think it should be. But certainly, at the very least, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. I mean, one of the best performances I've seen in, in a long time. Uh, he got into this movie and uh, just did a great job. Uh, Todd Phillips did a great job. The, the woman who played the mother, I think Frances Conrad, she's there. She's excellent in the movie. Uh like I said, the the guy who played Thomas Wayne, I'm blanking on that actor's name. Excellent. They did a cool connection between uh, Thomas Wayne and this family where she used to work for them. And uh, you don't know how much of that is his delusions or, or, or you start to realize the mother was also delusional too. Uh, so you don't know what's true or what's not. It's worth watching. I, I mean, I, I'm, it's worth watching a second time. So I, I highly recommend this movie. It, I, I, I expected it to be good when I first heard about it. I said, I, I, I think Todd Phillips is a good director. Uh, I know, he know he's normally known for comedies. But I kind of knew he had this in him. And uh, I was one of the first people to... Uh, well, not one of the first people, but I definitely was in the camp that it's going to be great. Uh, right off the bat, especially when Joaquin Phoenix, I can't think of a bad performance from this guy, and this might be his best. So this was uh, just just a fantastic movie. Yeah. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. <laughs> Yeah, like, like just looking at this subway and the garbage can, uh, Todd Phillips grew up in New York in the 80s. He knows what it looks like. It's not sanitized. Um, so uh, highly recommended. Check out King of Comedy, too. Another excellent movie. Uh, I would love to see Martin Scorsese's uh, opinion of this movie. I, I, I bet he would not have the same as Marvel movies. Not shitting on the Marvel movies. I I, I love the Marvel movies. I you know I watch them all, almost all of them. I uh, haven't caught Captain Marvel yet. Um, probably won't. Uh, but you know, some are good. There's some stand out. But uh, this movie is in another level. This is uh, not to sound snobbish, but uh, this is true cinema. This movie evokes feelings and and makes you think about it the next day. Uh, and in fact, want to go back and see it again. So, my highest recommendation for this movie, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And uh, once again, I want to give a big uh, thank you to everybody uh, we met yesterday and had dinner with. And they, uh, people who ate with me actually got to see me without my mask on. Um, and that must be a, a thrill I couldn't imagine uh, 
that they have they're going to carry that around with them for the rest of their life as a, probably a highlight. Uh, but everybody there uh, was it was a pleasure to meet you, uh, and uh, thank you to uh, Gary definitely for picking up the drinks. It was r actually nice to meet Ethan for all the time we speak to each other uh, on air. Uh, we've never actually met, so uh, that was nice to actually meet him. He was he was a good guy, uh, and we had uh, we had fun. So uh, take care, uh, and uh, go see the Joker. Bye.